I was calibrating my uh, all my meters on their temperature just to verify they were close to 32 so I've got all the leads tied together in uh, crushed ice and water and uh, ST4 and the AMP320 are hitting right at 32 the fluke however is 30.7 and the HS36 was 30.9 so I've got the instructions on how to adjust the HS36 and you have to take the back off of the unit. Of course the battery prongs are through here. They push through. You got one, two, three, four, five screws. And it tells you to adjust VR3 to get it close to 32 and then VR2 to fine tune it. So 30.9 What I have to do first is get the battery hooked via a set of leads. So this is my positive on the left. And there's the positive on the left. And I'm going to hook that to the negative side. Now we're hot. All right. Touching the plastic only. You can see temperature's dropping down 31 degrees. Still at 32 on the amp probe. So yes, it's close. But that, you know, one degree, I kind of want it to be uh, right on. So I'm going to adjust that, turn it clockwise, there we go, look at that, turned it just a hair, that's reading exactly what the amp probe is reading, so now I feel I'm calibrated. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power, disconnect the battery. It, told you, it tells you in the manual to you know, hold it with a rubber band to here, but I thought, you know, I'll just use my test leads and just clip to there and clip to the battery and it worked out great. This thing did not come apart easy. I was worried I was going to break something, but trust you, it was just, it was snug, but now I've got a get it back together the posts the posts here will go into the here prongs make sure they're going back through and they are went back went back together a heck of a lot easier than coming apart that's for dog on sure get all the screws back in So to sum it up, I'm going to get all the screws back in here in a minute. To sum it up, get all the screws back in, pop your battery back in, get your battery cover in. It's ready to go. And that that is how to calibrate your HS36. It's not super easy. Uh, the ST4 has calibration on the front of it, but it's dead on. One little aspect I wanted to note when calibrating the temperature meters. Here's the differential I've got right now on my... ST4 got one reading 32, the other one reading 32, 32.1. So I've got it. I'm using the ones that came with the field piece. When I was using this one, I went ahead and used the one that came with the Ampro, putting the positive side on the positive port. And I noticed with it. Putting it in a crushed, crushed ice and water. They get 
Now if I use the one that comes from Fluke, Thirty-one point two. So I thought I'm gonna try the amp probe. Put it on Fahrenheit. Mess of wires here. Sorry about that. Point seven. Use the one that comes with it. Positive side on red. There's positive on this side. Thirty-two point three. Positive side going into the thirty-two point five. So as you see, it's not just as so much as the meter as the K-type thermocouple that we're using, the thermistor. So the ones from each different company will get different readings. It's not necessarily, when you compare the two, it's not necessarily the meter itself. It's actually the thermocouple. So if I were to use the Fluke, Thermal couple. Try to calibrate that meter. Well, I'd, I'd you know I'd bring that up a degree. Well, then when I went to my amp probe meter, thermal couple, K type, putting it in properly. It's right on the money. Doggone close, you know, 32 degrees. So something to note when you are calibrating, you can't really calibrate the AMP320. It's factory calibrated, so you really need to use the one that came with it. I mean, if you lose it, just realize if you're using a fluke product, it may increase the temperature. I mean, if it's a degree off at 32, we don't know how much it'll be off at a higher temperature. Maybe not so much, but it's going to be off. A little bit. So using the factory applied leads, you can see it does make a difference at trying to calibrate at 32 degrees. This one actually reads, the fluke itself reads kind of low. It reads like 31 and a half in the ice bath on its with its own leads. And there is a calibration procedure that I downloaded for it, and it's really in depth. It involves using these buttons to enter numbers and passwords and you got to turn it off, hold, turn it to a certain setting to put it in calibration mode. It's a real drawn out process. Something that if you really took your time and had all the step by steps you could probably do it, but it's one of those things I'm not willing to do over half a degree. So it's just a little a few insights on calibrating, how to calibrate the HS36, how to take the back off of it, how I've got the leads hooked to a battery, and then right there, those two silver dials, B3 
and V2. This one's supposed to get it in pretty close, and that one's supposed to fine-tune it. So I've got it close enough to where I want it. And the ST4 actually has calibrators right there. So it's like what I did is uh, calibrated them in an ice bath and got it with both within where they were, the temperature differential was zero to 0.1. So they were both actually just a little off and uh, I just had to, I think they were like reading 31.5 and I got them to 32 and I double tested them. I, I, I tested them again and they got 32, both of them. So this one's good. The ST4 is not a bad product for temperature. I like it. HS36, not bad for temperature. It does well too if you use the proper, if you use its leads. AMP320 meter itself. Temperature is non adjustable, but if you use the factory lead, 32 degrees, it seems to be set if you use the ice bath calibration method. The fluke runs a little low, half a degree on the 32 degree setting, and I'm not going to reset it. So there's a little overview of calibrating your temperature uh, your temperature settings on a different line of multimeters and temperature meters. Thanks for watching.